Hello YouTube, before we get started with this latest game, this latest Thursday throwdown, uh, we are giving a strong language warning for this episode. Um, we did not manage to edit out the profanities, so if you've got little ears or if you just don't want to hear that kind of talk, it only happens twice, but it is explosive when it happens, so here's your first and only warning for that hopefully you enjoy the game hello and welcome back to another installment of thursday throwdown the show where we pit two golden age sets against each other and you vote for the figures on our teams this week i am building out of deadpool and the x-force and simeon is building out of avengers defenders war i won map i won roll whatever they didn't go playing so we were playing on the cargo ship it's close enough Simeon, get into the figures on your team. All right. So, starting off for ADW, we've got Batrock the Leaper for 40 points. Uh, he's got sidestep, and when he has one action token, he may use sidestep twice and be given a free action to make a close attack. So, when he's got one action token, he's always got the ability to make free attacks. It's pretty sweet. He ignores a bunch of terrain for movement. Pretty zippy little guy for 40 points. Pretty mobile. Uh, next up, for 15 points, um, Jessica Jones, not doing a whole lot. She just got Leap Climb, not doing a whole lot of like attacking or damaging. This is the Detective De uh, Jessica Jones. She has the Marvel Knights trait, which you'll see a few times. I can lock their attack value at 10, minimum 10, or I can give them Wild Card for the game. And then she has a trait which opposing characters within 6 can't use Stealth, which is actually pretty solid for 15 points. Uh, then I've got Captain America. This is the super rare from the set. He's got a full dial of stealth. He is a pretty sweet Avenger uh, support piece. So he's got the Avengers unifier. Once per turn, when a friendly character is healed after resolutions, you can roll a d6, and then on a 50-50, you remove an action token from that character, used with great effect uh, with the AI giant girls who heal after KOing. Uh, he's also got a special damage power, that gives him outwit and perplex, and he can use leadership as if he was 200 points, which, sure, it's good. Uh, next up, 50 points. I'm going through these fast because I've got a bunch of them. 50-point uh, Ghost Rider. I'm playing him on the low point dial because that's how points worked out. Um, he's got improved movement, hindering, elevated, and characters, just like Batrick. Uh, he's got the Marvel Knights trait again. He's got a special speed power on one click for his 50-point dial, and that is Vengeance will not be denied. He can use Sidestep, and then I can give him a power action to move up to his speed value in a direct path. After resolutions, uh, I choose three damage or two penetrating damage. Then I make a close attack targeting all characters he moved through. Hit characters are dealt the chosen damage instead of normal damage and placed into a square that Ghost Rider did not move through adjacent to their current square. It's like Ram. It's exactly like Ram, except he doesn't take damage from it. Uh, he's in Dom. He's pretty decent for 50 points. I never managed to actually get one of those, the Ghost Riders. I think they're still like $25. Um, one of my least favorite... Uh, super rares from the set is Moon Dragon. So here she is. Seven range, starts off with uh, mind control as her speed power and a special attack power. She's got the Defenders Together trait, which was common against all defenders, which was kind of like the, what was it, uh, simpler time justice society trait. So it's once per turn for all characters with the Defenders Together trait. Uh, if a character uses the Defender's team ability to replace its defense value with Moon Dragon's, I put an arrogant token on this card. Moon Dragon modifies her attack and damage values by plus one for each arrogant token on this card. When she misses any targets of an attack, after resolutions, I remove all arrogant tokens from this card. So, of course, attack and damage would uh, cap at plus three, but um, with as many wild cards as I have, I can do a lot of defending. So, we'll see. Uh, her first special attack power is my formidable psionic powers. She can use Psychic Blast and TK, which, without any move and attack, is not as exciting as it could be. Um, and then on her last half of her dial, she still has Psychic Blast, and she gets a special mind control power where I can triple target mind control, and I don't take feedback damage when using it, which is super exciting. 
in 2020 when feedback damage is no longer a thing. 85 points for that thing. Wow. Um, <laughs> Purple Man, another rare, really good really good uh, set for rares as long as you didn't pull the Magia ones. Um, so Purple Man has two lightning bolts, six range, a lot of special stuff going on. So he's also got the Minions of Doom team ability, which now allows him to heal if he KOs somebody, which he will not be doing with his one damage. Uh, so Purple Man has a trait, once a victim, always mind control. He considers opposing character with opposing characters with a pheromone tokens to be adjacent and have a zero, zero point value for mastermind purposes, which is pretty sweet. Um, his special ad speed power he has his whole dial is mind control, and when he uses it, I modify his attack by plus three, giving him a 12 top dial, a 10 bottom dial, moderate attack values. Um, pretty decent. He doesn't take feedback damage for using mind control, and hit characters are given the pheromone token. And then his special defense, his whole dial, is surrounded by willing victims. Purple Man can use Mastermind. When he does, he may remove a pheromone token from an opposing character to transfer damage to that character, which is what makes him really cool. Uh, Happy Little Hero Clicks actually used him in a build back when Minions of Doom was wild card. You could copy like the Batman teammate, TA, or Batman enemy TA, and then copy the attack value of, I think he was using Katana or Shiva or someone who had like a 12 top dial. So Purple Man had like a 15 when using Mind Control. Uh, next up is Hand Ninja. Stealth, Empower, if in Hindering. That's it. 10 points. Hydra Team ability. Cool stuff. Uh, after that, Daredevil, he can bring in those Hand Ninjas. So that's much more interesting. He's got Traded Stealth. Once per turn, I can give him a Power Action to place a Hand Ninja from outside the game in a square of hindering terrain within range and line of fire. That is four squares for him. Uh, if a friendly character with the hand keyword was KO'd since my last turn, it's a free action instead, which is pretty cool. Um, no limit to how many of those I can put out there, but they're not amazing. Calder might win by points if I do too many. Uh, Demonic Appetite for Pain is an attack power he has his mid to late dial. Uh, he can use Precision Strike, and when he hits an opposing character, I modify the attack values of all friendly characters with the hand keyword by plus one this turn. If the opposing character is KO'd, I also modify the damage by plus one. And then top dial to mid dial, he has Mystical Senses, which is Super Senses, and when I succeed after actions resolve, deal the attacker one unavoidable. So it's like, I mean... Back when this came out, Mystics was still unavoidable, but now this power is just better than Mystics. It's like not only do they miss, but they also take unavoidable. Uh, Mystics, of course, only being penetrating damage now. Um, going into my shifting focus, guys, I've got Rocket Punisher, who has an attack power, no speed power, top dial, 8 range, and an attack power that is basically energy explosion except target gate takes four and then adjacent characters take three so it's way better than energy explosion his shifting focus version is just a stealth close combat guy with blades and then uh if the roll is low enough i can deal one penetrating instead um dr strange has an attack version where i can share a plus one for the defenders which isn't anyone on my team, I don't think. Um, so he's got an attack version with Psychic Blast and some Energy Shield sidestep. He has a defense version where I can use... Uh, I think he... Yeah, he's got defend, and then if they take damage, I can heal them one um, with like giving Doctor Strange some damage, which comboing that with uh, the man thing from this set was really good because man thing has a stop click so he'd hit his stop click and then you just heal him one and he's also got mystics so they'd take damage and man thing wouldn't and then there's also the carrying doctor strange who can only carry two people because there's not enough defenders on this team but he can carry up to two friendly characters with phasing teleport and then of course uh the defenders together trait so he can work with moon dragons thing as well that is my team. I'm starting off with the carrying Doctor Strange and the Knife Punisher for obvious reasons. Yes. Right on. Okay, so my team is going to start off. We're going to do uh, Madcap first, go to the left, and then go up. 
by the way, guys, if you want to, you can pause the video when Simeon makes the image bloat up just to easily read it yourself. Not the crazy fast. So Madcap has three traits. The first one is Mercs for Money. Each time another friendly character with the Heroes for Hire keyword KOs an opposing character, you heal Madcap one click. His second trait is Boop. Adjacent opposing characters can't make attacks unless they attack a character named Madcap. So if multiple of my characters are adjacent, they have to attack Madcap. His last trait is Instant Healing. When Madcap takes damage, after resolutions, roll a d6 and heal Madcap half of the result. He's pretty tough. If you try to yeah. nickel and dime him, you're not getting anywhere. Next up is Hellcow, a.k.a. old Bessie the Hellcow. She's going to start on click six, and I need to probably edit her dial to make it look that way, but she has a trait, which is Vampiric Bovine. Hellcow begins the game on click six. Hellcow can use Steel Energy and Stealth. When she uses Steel Energy, she may heal past her starting line. Oh, baby, and look at that number one click. Maybe, if we yeah. get lucky. I've only and then done her it once. special defense power is just stop is all that is keeps her alive for a while yeah. although there's three of them though. one thing to yes well there's two right away we can heal to a third one etc cetera, etc cetera. the important thing to note though is that her support is called like hell cow's milk or something like yeah. that and i just i just want everyone to know that i want that to be in the knowledge sphere next up tippy toe because monkey joe's dead sorry hc realms or monkey joe he only has a special attack power that's okay it's really good give tippy toe a free action to deal one damage to an opposing character within eight squares and line of fire that occupy printed hindering terrain now sadly tippy toe does not see through hindering terrain for improved movement so they've got to be in hindering not stealth you need important Jessica things to remember Jones here on team one would think yeah Next up is Pirate Deadpool, the only chase from this set. I actually don't know what any of the comic panels do, so give me a second while I look that up on my phone when we begin the game. Number one, first trait, Bob, you'll be my parrot. As you can see, Parrot Bob down there. We start that, being the game, we generate a Parrot Bob. Anyways, other friendly characters have the Pirate Keyword, being the game, place adjacent, a Parrot Bob bystander. You see him, he's right there. He's Parrot Bob. Second trait, do you see the comic panels telling me what to do at the beginning of your turn? If Pirate Deadpool has no action tokens, you may attach a comic panel to him. Remove an already attached one. He can use the listed effect. We're going to look up a couple of those and see what they like are. Combat reflexes His is special... one I know. Yeah, something like that. His special attack power is my solid gold gun with diamond bullets, the compensator. Pirate Deadpool can use Penetrating Psychic Blast. When he does, replace his attack value with the highest attack value from all characters on the map. None of my characters, if you've been keeping track so far, have higher than a 10 attack. So let's hope some of Simeon's do. I think I've got one, like, 11. <laughs> Jeez, got to keep him alive. Next up is Chipmunk Hunk, my favorite hunk who's chipmunks quite the spunk he used to do a rhyming thing in the squirrel girl <laughs> comics anyways oh, okay. he has a special leap climb power special speed power which is he can use leap climb and stealth when he uses leap climb after actions resolve he can use quake as a free action a little bit of a predecessor to that hulk that will come out later in the year of this 2017 set but i like yeah. old chipmunk hunk here uh slightly to the right of him is diamondback the best girl the best girl for Captain America and the one he should always end up with is old Diamondback here. She has a trait called Bad Girls Inc. Diamondback can use plasticity when she successfully breaks away during a non-free action. So it can't be a sidestep. It has to be a move action or a charge. After actions resolve, heal her one click and deal one damage to each character that she broke away from. Plasticity makes that a very, very nice. Last but certainly not least is my man, my favorite scientist, who may also be a you know, German soldier, uh, Swarm. <laughs> uh, he has a trait called Only the Queen Matters. Unless the attack roll is doubles, Swarm takes no more than one damage from attacks, oh, which is I beautifully paired that. with that shape change super senses oh, top yeah. dial. And then he has a special attack power on his first three clicks, wonderfully paired with uh, running shot, five range, two bolts. Each time Swarm hits an opposing character, after actions resolve, put a B Swarm bystander adjacent to that character unless there already is one. So I can shoot two different people, place B bystanders next to them. What do the Bs do? Well, their Pog themselves only has the picture and not the cool printed stats on the side, but that's okay. They have B Swarm's actions do not count against your action total for their movements. They have a nine attack, one damage with poison and super senses, making these bees something to buzz about. Oh, yeah, I did it. I said it. You know I did. All right. So I forgot to slap 
Cargo Bob down there. We pause the game as I grab my phone, <sighs> unplug it from the cord, turn off notifications as we hear that loud ding noise, and I look up what the heck a comic panel does. But since that doesn't matter and Deadpool will still not have a token, why don't we just ax all of that and have Chipmunk Hunk go leap climbing a whole eight squares. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. So instead, we're going to go six squares to here. A madcap go with him. Also, eight squares. One, two, three, four, five, whatever. Some, some fudge it away to there. Important to note, we have uh, 500 point teams. I only have five actions. I have no leadership on my team. Very important oh, thing. Oh, no, wait. Do have Madcap did not Six need to move. Actions. I put him next to what's-her-face. Hell cow. Put him next to Bessie. Madcap don't need to move. That's my bad. All right. I don't need to do any damage. I just want the token off. There it is. Bessie is going to sidestep. Uh, first, she's going to move out six squares. So one, two, six. Move six to there. Mm, will she actually? Sidestep one, two to there. And we'll slap Mr. Cap right there. He does not get the token. What the heck? Oh, I see what I was doing. I was modifying his values. That's so weird. Oh, you were hitting huh. the... I didn't know, I even even know you could do that. Yeah. What in the world? He needs to be an 8 for 10. Goodness gracious. That's really cool, but... Uh... Here we go. No, 8 for 10. Strange. How strange? I didn't even notice that. I wonder if that's always been there. Probably has. Probably has. Pirate Deadpool, Parrot Bob is going to perplex up Swarm's defense, and Swarm is going to move out nine squares, carrying Deadpool. I feel like my team is better, but Calder's team is overall harder to kill. Between Madcap, Hellcow, Swarm, I feel like there's just like... And there, your team has a lot of free ways to deal damage. Like, not really free, but... Uh, non-attack ways. Oh, yes. Okay. I see. Oh. She's going to carry tippy-toe to there. Here, Bob. And move six squares. Can't fly despite being a parrot. Hmm. One of them flightless parrots. One, two, three, four. Yeah. I forgot to give Hellcow an action token. I want C three four, and then Parrot Bob will get a action token. Deadpool is going to choose whatever comic panel gives him. Uh, let's do Energy Shield Deflection. I'm pretty sure that's a comic panel, and now I'm going to look him up on my phone. If not, I'll change it halfway through Simeon's turn. Okay. Comic. Mm, you can't just Google comic panel. Thanks a lot, HC Realms, for absolutely nothing. I think they're at the bottom of and the away we set. scroll to I the Deadpool remember. set. Okay. Yeah. Um, ah, all right. So we have plus a target, stealth, precision strike, ESD, or quake, smoke cloud, or combat reflexes. We're gonna go ESD okay. for now. Let's see. I want to carry. I can carry two people with this Doctor Strange, so I definitely want to do that. Um, this Captain America is slow. And Moon Dragon does not have a high speed value for flight. But also, there's. Oh, uh, at the beginning of the game, all people on my team with the Marvel Knights keyword are just going to pick the uh, wild card thing. I don't care about the 10 attack value, I want to be wild cards. So. Uh, we'll probably all copy the Defenders thing. I have Defenders, Doom Team Ability, Avengers, and Hydra 
those are my options. Uh, I cannot copy Mystics, sadly. Mm. So we'll be copying Defenders unless stated otherwise. Um, man, there's so many slow people on this team. I just don't know. Uh, yeah, we'll carry... Man, this Captain America does not have... Man. Yeah, he doesn't have any improved movement. So we're definitely carrying Captain America and... Purple Man. Jeez. <laughs> uh, what is... Six range. So I'll be able to go ten squares with Doctor Strange. Yeah, we'll plop him down here. We'll carry Captain America to there. And we'll carry Purple Man to there. Uh, that is an action token for Doctor Strange. Let's see. For all characters with the trait, doesn't really matter. No one's next to him that can do that. So we'll do free action and shift Doctor Strange into defendy Doctor Strange. So this one's super tough. He's got the Superman pose with arms at his side. He has defend. If an adjacent character takes damage, I can potentially heal them one damage without dealing damage to Doctor Strange. There's a 50-50 chance he will take damage. Shifting. Uh, he has sidestep, which I'm not going to use. Uh, we will sidestep Ghost Rider. Two squares. Uh, yeah, right there. Yep, perfect. Uh, he will then walk, drive, whatever. Uh, he'll go... Let's see. He ignores uh, elevation and stuff. So he'll go here. In those back two squares. And... Hmm. That's two actions. Jessica Jones will leap and climb seven squares. Yeah, sure. We'll go there. My ninja, who is not going to have enough hindering to get a lot of empower this game, he will walk eight squares. So that's four actions out of my six because I have two leaderships. Um, let's see, Batrock can sidestep, that's a good idea for him, Punisher should walk, one, two, three, four, five, six, let's go there with Punisher, that's five, and then last action, I'm going to to do something with Daredevil. Uh, also, no improved movement. How could he? He's in a chair. Um, so he's just going to walk eight squares the hard way. Let's see. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Walk to there. And. Oh, uh, yeah. Um. Moon Dragon will perplex up her own defense because I remembered that she had perplex. Mm. Uh, Captain America Good will job. perplex up Doctor Strange's defense and he will outwit um, nothing. And then. You can't see anything. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, interesting choice. I think that's that's all my free stuff. So, yeah, we'll just okay. we'll leave it at that. Right on. Beginning of the turn, I ain't got nothing to do, because that's just the way it be. 
sometimes, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so here we are. Let's do some things. We have uh, we have some things that we can do, but uh, let's see. So Deadpool could choose a new, what's it called? Ward balloon. Comic panel. Hmm, I think smoke cloud could be. Oh yes, comic panel. Sorry, I'm thinking of a better Deadpool with a better system. So before we change from ESD, I think we just change to combat reflexes. I think that much of your team is close based. Yeah. That probably. we need to go combat reflexes for sure with Deadpool. Let's see. Okay. Couldn't see Batrock there for a second. He was kind of hiding behind the humongous, ginormous uh, sculpt that is this freaking Ghost Rider. I mean, goodness yeah. gracious. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I wish there was a better way to do bases, but here we are. Uh, so kind of looking at it, Deadpool can running shot. These guys can both running shot five squares. One, two, three, four, five, which means they can both get to this bit here, which is a little rough since we want to figure out how we can see everybody first. So I think we're going to have to do Swarm, then Deadpool, and then Diamondback. Swarm will not get enhancement from Deadpool, but... Or we do Deadpool first and then Swarm, actually. Because Deadpool has six range. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, then if we run a shot with Swarm, we cannot do it with Diamondback. Let's see. Let's see. Swarm has Hydra, does he not? I don't think he actually does. Okay, he doesn't. All right. All right. This is just a very difficult turn, fellas. Just, just it is what it is. Well, Swarm probably shouldn't do anything, actually. That makes it easy because he has an action token, and I do not want to push him for sure. So Deadpool can running shot. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll go to there. He'll take the 11 from someone on your team. Uh, and we're going to yeah. shoot the purple man. Okay. He oh, wait. He has to go back one square. 18 uh, of one, two, three, four. Doctor yeah. Strange's defend. Okay, uh, so we need a seven with Deadpool here. Aww. Oh, that will miss. That'll be a six. Missed by one. Real shame for old Deadpool. I have Diamondback sidestep and carry tippy toe to Aww. there. Tiny size. And then she is going to shoot. Uh, purple man again as well. And this time it's a 10, but we have an enhancement for 4 damage. So we do need an 8 on this one, which is a big ask. And there's our 7. I hate my life. Okay. <laughs> uh, she will push for that. Tippy Toe cannot see Captain America, so he sadly cannot free action to deal him a damage because of that Razmatazin stealth. Real bummer. Uh, we're going to sidestep with Hellcow to here, which will then in turn move Madcap to here, and then Madcap will sidestep uh, to here. Hmm. Well, I realize what I've done. And I'm okay with it, because I don't think uh, he can even do anything to me. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and clear Swarm. Uh, actually, before he moves, I think he was like... Where was Hellcow? Hellcow was here. Or something like this. Madcap was like here. I think I think Pirate Bob could have seen Madcap. So we're going to perplex up Madcap's defense. Move those guys to there. Clearing Hellcow. Goodness gracious. Hellcow, Pirate Bob, and the Chipmunk Hunk in Swarm. There you go. Okay. Well, uh, let's roll leadership with Captain America, the old version. A two. And let's roll leadership with Daredevil, the chair version. Uh, that's a three. Okay. Oh, there you go. Slowly increasing. That's fine. Um, it's a 
power action to make a hand ninja. It's not like super great to do it. Uh, da, da, da. A 19 from range. Tippy toe, huh? Uh, Diamondback has energy shield, I'm assuming. Yes. She does. Uh, 17 energy shield deflection. And there's no way Captain America can see. Yeah, that blocking's gonna. I can see tippy toe, but definitely not Diamondback. Um. Uh... Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. One, two, three, four. I could do that. It would not help me at all, but I can do it. First things first, let's move Moon Dragon somewhere that'll be useful. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's see. Five, six. Seven. Sure. Move Moon Dragon there. Trying to figure out how much stock I want to put into this this attack that I'm gonna probably miss. One, two, three, four, five, six. I could attempt that. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and Captain America will outwit Tippy Toe's super senses. Yeah, we'll outwit Tippy Toe's okay. super senses. We will okay. perplex. Tippy toes defense down. Okay. Seems fine. And then we are going to attempt to mind control Tippy Toe and Diamondback with uh, mm -hmm. Purple Man. The purple. Well, okay. hang on. I don't think it'll matter. 18 and a 19. Uh, da, da, da. Empower Enhancement. Uses either also modify the attacker's attack value plus one. I'm already capped at plus three, so that's not going to matter. Um, so yeah, a 12 into an 18 and a 19. That will hit both. Yes. Okay. What you going to uh, do about it? Diamondback will... Attempt to punch Pirate Deadpool. Okay. He has a 20. Uh, nice. So nothing. Um, we'll then attempt to move Diamond back, break away from Pirate Deadpool. Oh, shoot. I still have plasticity, so... You do still have plasticity. A 3 will succeed. It? We'll just go one, two, three to there. That's fine. And then tippy toe. I can't use leap climb because that's a power action. So I can only move one square. And then I won't be able to. These guys each have like pheromone them. tokens, right? Yes, yeah, so I'm pretty sure it's just uh, mind control, modify attack plus three, I don't take feedback damage, and hit characters are given a pheromone token. And then I can use mastermind, okay. remove a pheromone token, and transfer the damage to that character. And mm. I consider them I consider them adjacent to zero that. point values for mastermind while they have it, so... Uh, yeah. Unless you have an outwit, which I don't think you do. I do not. Yes, good, good. Okay. So that was the exciting part of this turn. 
The next part of this turn is going to be shifting Punisher Knife Man into Punisher Explosion Man. So he transfers with that token. Um, we will perplex up his attack with Moon Dragon. And he will. He has eight range. I think I just want to shoot like Madcap. That seems like a good idea. I'd really like to shoot Pirate Deadpool, but that's not going to hurt as many people. So, yeah, we'll target. Uh, let's see, the direct diagonal is that square. So, yeah one inside um we'll target madcap with explosions so it's a uh, if i hit a single opposing character with a range attack instead of dealing normal damage i deal the target four and each adjacent each character adjacent to the target three okay that's better because you don't actually have to hit our defenses it's that's way true. better than energy explosion yeah Oh, that was a terrible roll. I'll redo it. Yeah. And it's off the table. Oh, not quite. It's, it's Simeon. Right Simeon. It is a cock dice, though. I don't even know what it says that one is. That one's the six, apparently. Table, bro. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You can roll a crit miss yet. I believe in you. Madcap has an 18. Perplexed up by Pirate Bob. Pirate Bob. <laughs> Simeon! That wasn't my fault. Try it again! That time it bounced oh, funny. Sorry. Okay. You've rolled these roll 20 dice. How many times? That will hit. It'll do a Madcap 4. 1, so 2, three. 3, 4. Well, 3. Toughness. Yeah. It'll deal him 1. And then her 1, 2, 3. And then I need a roll for Madcap. Heal half the results. It is a five, so I heal three. So nothing happened to Mr. Cap. Yes. Cool. Uh, that is a push for Punisher. Because this one does not mm. have willpower. It is the other one. All right. That's three actions. Um... can't occupy two elevations with Ghost Rider, but I can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not quite. So what I would have to do is sidestep forward one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I still can't get there. No. Yeah. Um... So I will wait on him. Uh, Batruck will... One, two... He can get a lot of places. He will... Go somewhere and do something to someone. Yeah, we'll sidestep him. He's there. One, two right in front of Ghost Rider, except Ghost Rider takes up too much room. Um, Sidestep to that square, and then leap climb. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that works. Mm. Oh, I ignore characters, so yeah, I, I don't even need to worry about... Oh, wow. I just accidentally gave Chipmunk Hunk an action token. That was fun. How could you? That's right, I'll take it off. So he'll go there. And then now that he has an action token, he will make a free attack and he will target Swarm. Mm. With my precision. Okay. Strike. Shape change on Swarm. Uh, that'll be one. Go for it. What? Uh... 15, probably. Say. Yeah, 16. Hmm. I don't like it. I don't like it, but okay. 
Stevenson's is on a six. All right, yes, takes one damage. Good. Good. Um, oh, shut what up. am I at now? Every word one, two, out of your mouth three, is pain to my ears. Four. Four actions. Um, I used my outwit and perplex with Captain America. I used moon dragons, perplex. I moved Tippy Toe out of Daredevil's range. I think he doesn't even have. Wow. Okay. He doesn't have Endom. So I think I'm just going to clear the rest of my team because. There we go. Um, yeah. They're not really doing anything this turn. Okay. You turn. They will have max tokens, so we cannot change from combat reflexes. So there's nothing else for us to do. Let's see. Ending a 19 from close is not good unless my dice start being way hotter than they've been. Let's have Chipmunk Hunk do something. We'll have Parrot Bob perplex up his attack value. And he will Hunk Leap Climb. One, two, four, five, whatever, somewhere within eight. And he's going to Quake uh, Etrock Zilipea. So let's hit him up, shall we? A high number. That's a seven. It's not a high number. Not a high enough number. Do we want to keep wasting attacks on Batrock Zilipea? That is the question, it would seem. Let's no. see. Batrock is too strong. He can do a lot. He can do a lot. Let's see. I think we're going to have Punisher, Running Shot, Penetrating Slate Blast. One, two, three, That's four, Deadpool. five to there. And shoot Not dead. Punisher. What's his face? Whatever. Deadpool, Punisher, same guy. Who the hell cares? It is an 11 to Punisher something for penetrating damage. 17. He's going to. This is when we roll a two. With a Moon Dragon. That will just hit a 17. Did you mean there? Yeah, I'm reading Moon Dragon's trait. Um, okay. So she gets one arrogant token because he copied her defense. Uh, okay. So I'll do hit three damage. For three. Yes. One, two, three. He is now on click. Five. Cool. How neat is that? That's pretty neat. Well, let's have Diamond back. She can't sidestep. Doesn't matter. She's actually not next to Batrock. Oh. Sorry. Did Batrock attack Swarm? Swarm is going to heal up one. Uh, you hit Madcap. That was illegal. Okay. Eh? Madcap's trait. Sorry. Oh, I'll read it again because... for those not paying attention yeah, at home. that's right. I was adjacent yep. to... Adjacent characters can't make attacks unless they attack a character named Madcap. Uh... So, there we go. All right, cool. So, I do have a way to deal with Batrock. His name is Madcap, and I'm a genius, and Simeon is stupid. So, let's go ahead and have Hellcow. That is one, two actions. We're going to have Hellcow swing on Batrock, going for the uh, 10... We need our dice rolls have been so painfully mediocre. You're going to give me a 10. That is a seven. I hate my life. All right. So it's hell cow. Let's give her a token. Shall we? All right. All right. One, two, three, done three actions so far. I really don't want swarm to running shot break away, but I also do. So we can get a poison off. We also can't shoot anybody. So I don't know what I want to do with swarm, but I want them to do something. Move five squares. One, two, three, four, five. If he wants to, he could go there. And he could shoot those guys. Yeah, let's do it. He's going to try to running shot breakaway with Swarm. Oh, that's a five. I'll actually do it. Um, So one, two, three, four, five. Dropping Swarm off here. We're going to double target uh, Doctor Strange and the Purple Man. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Whoa. 
to hit them both, we do need quite the roll. We need eight. But our dice rolls, like I said, have been so painfully mediocre. This is where we roll our crit hit. Oh, ah, that is the eight that eight. we need, though. And it will hit them both. Uh, since I don't want any pheromone things going on, we're going to deal all three to Doctor Strange. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, he did change. Then we will seven. place one B here. And then one B here, since they can't be adjacent. And those bees will both poison. Ah. I'll check the wording on these bees. Put a beast bystander to put one. It's not generator place, it's just put one. So yeah. Yep. So we'll poison Purple Man, we'll poison Doctor Strange and Steve Rogers. That will be that will be Swarm. Okay. So hmm. Swarm did something, Chipmunk Hunk did something, Hellcow did something. And Pirate Deadpool did something. So we have one more action, which means Madcap can swing. Oh, Pirate also or... got poisoned. Or not Pirate, uh, Ninja. Hand oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The Ninja did. Cool. Which means the bees can each do something. Or No, only their move actions. So a bee can do something. Tippy Toe can do something. Or uh, Madcap can do something. We're going to have Madcap try to hit that 19. Um, actually, I think we're just going to have Pirate Bob move. One, two... Three, four, five, six to there to replace Swarm. He is safe there since Batrock can't attack him. Just that way we can use his perplex next turn. He already perplexed the attack by Chipmunk Hunk. Simeon, it is your go. We're going to clear. Uh, I think it's just Diamondback this turn can clear. Yeah, that's correct. I mistakenly said that uh, Batrock used Leap Climb. He doesn't have Leap Climb. He just has improved elevated characters and hindering. Um, the double sidestep is his speed power. Uh, which I guess, yeah, I would have had to go in a more direct path. I wouldn't have been able to go over the blocking, but I ignore characters, so I still would have been able to get there. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. Hmm. Well, now that Swarm is gone, I potentially could do the... Hmm. The... No, Pirate Daredevil. Bob Well, if I, if I killed Parrot Bob. He has a 17. I don't know how you can do that, but okay. You can try. Uh, I can sidestep to here. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Back. Shut up. Shut the hell up. Shut up. Damn. <laughs> I can... We may not have thought that one through entirely, listener. So, but alas, ignoring here characters we are. With the if that's what you're doing, Simeon. Yeah. That's well, what you're doing. well, first, before I do that, I was just explaining to Calder how I was going to wreck him this turn. Uh, we'll roll leadership with Captain America. There you go, smart guy. And we'll roll leadership with Daredevil. Neither of them do anything, but okay. Um, so yeah, we'll sidestep there. Free attack okay. with my one action token. Parrot you will bomb. try. You need, a, need an a... entire seven to hit. Yes. My dice rolls have been so mediocre. Yours will be terrible. No, nope, they they hit the side of the table, so those will miss. Uh, <laughs> okay. And then Bob taken from me too soon. I will sidestep again. Too soon. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why is whoa, he whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, let me double check. Sidestep has one action token. He may use sidestep twice this turn. Yep, and free action to close attack. So double sidestep, yada yada. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna sidestep Ghost Rider up one square, and then ignoring elevated characters and blah blah blah. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just enough to land there. And let me reread his thing because it's long and convoluted. Um. 
After actions resolve, I choose three damage or two penetrating damage, and then I make a close attack. It's going to be about the same since you have toughness. Three damage will hurt uh, Chipmunk Hunk more. Make a close attack. So, yeah, we'll go with the three. Since two penetrating or All three right. will do the same to Madcap. So, ten into your defenses. A 17. Mm. We'll hit them that both. will hit us both. Deal three to one, two, three on Chimacunk. One, two for Madcap. We'll roll for Madcap. It's anything but a one. We'll heal back up to full. It is a four, so we heal back up to full. Me. Two. Double the reason that was able to battle, sorry, yeah. the reason I was able to hit uh, him is because you have to attack Madcap. It doesn't okay. say you can only target Madcap. So he just has long, to be one of those, the targets. Yeah, so that both. will bypass the whole. Yes. Are you? Sp okay. I was just making sure. Yeah. That. Yeah. Yep. No, so I, I haven't it. been able to actually do You're anything good. to Madcap yet. Um. Uh. Correct. Let's see. One, two. Hmm. Interesting. Yes, very interesting. Um, we are going to sidestep the Punisher and swap him back into... Actually, no, that doesn't make any sense. We're just going to sidestep him. Uh, no reason to, side or to do anything else. Uh, Moondragon will perplex up her own defense. Trying to figure out how to get around these silly bees. I guess you don't have to stop moving when you're next to a tiny sized character, right? When you're you have to past. break away, but you don't have to stop moving when you move. Okay. So, one, two, three, four. I could charge a good old swarm. Uh, so. Yeah, we'll do Captain America will outwit Swarm's shape change. He will... Okay. Let's see, Swarm's a 16. Man, it'd be great to have Pulse Wave on this team. He'll outwit... Yeah, shape change. Let's... Perplex up Daredevil's damage with Captain America. And we'll perplex down okay. Swarm's defense with Purple Man. And then Daredevil okay. will charge. One, two, three, four. To there. Okay. So I need to roll six if he misses. So it'll be a 12. Which he'll need a, a what, five? 11, yeah, 11 on a 15. So. Yeah, I think the 16, five. I perplexed you down. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you said you perplexed up your damage your attack okay in case damage. i rolled but doubles, do anything. which stupid. i did not oh in case you rolled doubles sure you need a six on super senses to say oh that's cocked oh uh, yeah i'm huh? uh, trying sure, again yeah. oh, no it's still too. cocked even though it's a six <laughs> <laughs> uh it's a three all right so he takes one okay good good um this action token for Daredevil, we're going to swap defensive Doctor Strange out for flyy fly Doctor Strange. And he's going to carry the two people next to him away from the bees. I just don't hmm. know quite Not like that. Yet. Let's see. I can go eight squares. Two, four, six, seven, eight. We get like over back here somewhere or there somewhere hmm. Hmm. let's go this hmm. direction one two three four five six seven we'll go there we'll put the purplest man there and captain america there 
Um, let's see, see. Action on Doctor Strange. So that's one, two, three actions. We will... Let's see. Since Daredevil hit... Uh, that's not a power I have currently. Never mind. So we will just... What do the bees have? Mm. Oh, they have super senses. Okay. We will Gene attempt, super senses. We will attempt to punch one with the ninja. Ninja. All right. Yeah, ninja going for it. Needs a six. Ah. So, so I got a five or six on the super senses of the bee. All right. It's dead bee. And... Very sad. Very sad. Daredevil have super senses. Okay. Daredevil has super senses. Jessica Jones is doing absolutely nothing for me this game. It's one, two, three, mm -hmm. four. Action five. I don't like the blades on Diamondback, so I don't really want to get messed up with that. Um, I think Jessica Jones is just going to move up here. To potentially mm. block you from doing something. I don't know. Purple man yes, with will my two tokens. clear. Yes. And Punisher will clear. Uh, Moon Dragon will clear. Batrock will sadly also clear. That is my my whole turn. I believed I used all my perplexes Okie doke. and other things. I'm sure you did. I'm sure. All right, cool. So we're going to start the turn off with Madcap punching Ghost Rider. Hmm. Wish you wouldn't. Hmm. I will hit a 17. For, for three damage. Two after toughness. One, two. Mm, give Madcap a token. Right, it's Madcap. He now has a nice succulent 16, which means Hellcow will go in for the Vampiric Bite. She'll sidestep one square to here uh -oh. and try to take a swing on Ghost Rider. That is a 9 to a 16 now. Uh, we need a 7. Uh-oh. Uh, ah! yes. Oh, wait. Sorry. <laughs> Let's cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's edit that out or something. Anyways, uh, that's Hellcat. <laughs> Jeez, it's gracious. How did I give one to both you and her? That was weird. Okay, uh, so that's him. That was supposed to be our easy heal for Hellcat. That sucks. Uh, that is two actions. We have three left, which means try to go there. Uh, let's have Chipmunk Hunk go for the big damage. He's going to, one, two, three, let's double check here, one, two, three, four, five, six, I had this counted out, one, two, three, five, six, seven, there it is, seven to here. Uh-oh. Yeah. He's going to try to quake, our goal is to uh, crit hit quake here. Uh, we can do some massive damage. We only have a nine attack, but we can do some crazy damage if we hit. Um, ah, that is a 10. That'll hit 18s for two damage okay. and knockback. So that'll deal. Uh, Which. Yeah, that'll hot. still hit uh, Captain America. So one, two. Uh, but he does have combat reflexes, correct? I don't know why he would have ESD. Uh, if he had it at the beginning of the thing, yeah. Yeah. He did, so yeah, he's got so he's ESD good. now, um, but he won't take the knockback. Doctor Strange will just die because he only has one click left. And then good old Purple Man is going to mastermind that too. You cannot. You cannot. What? It was a multi-target attack, baby. That doesn't matter. You can't. 
Yes, it's it does. A, no, it's still an attack that's hitting me. No. No, 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 no. I'm not uh, masterminding it to anyone. Have to read mastermind to you? I'm Do I have to read mastermind you? What? Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's I'm right. That's right. Now, Fuck you, Simeon. That's right. <laughs> so you can bleep that one. You can leave that one in. Go ahead and deal diamond back. Son of a gun. I thought I was going to whip a real cool nene here, kids, <laughs> as they say it. I totally forgot. Yeah, it has to be if they weren't also the, the target. It would instead yeah. become a hit target. Yeah, yeah. Fucking hero clicks. Goddamn stupid <laughs> fucking game. <laughs> Shimon Kung gave his life for that. <laughs> gave his life for that. He dies now. <laughs> Does he really? Did you push him to death? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a uh, last click. Let me double check here. Let me uh, rotate Chipmunk freaking hunk around here. Blip. Yeah, he's dead. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I thought. I think I'm getting way too tilted about Chipmunk hunk dying. Um. Now wait. That kind of. Why is my hand the flick still? Okay um let's see shoot i totally did that in the wrong operation unit dealer two one two yeah diamond dice dies two balls sucks donkey nuts um let's see i did one two with you three with you which means it is tiptoe through the window swarm and a bee well the bee's gonna fly to here because it's nine speed and it's autonomous when its move actions oh, are moving. Okay. So I think it's I think it's fine with the B. And then let's yeah, I really should have uh, done some of the dime back first. That is for sure. Um, I don't think anywhere I move tippy matters. Let's see, what did he have? Six speed, one, two, three, four, five, six. Well he can actually get to here. So he will get to there. Because mm. he can. So tippy will cost that was tippy chipmunk hunk. El cow and you. So if I wanted to, I could do something with swarm. Um, I don't know. Daredevil, you can't mastermind right now. What is it? Super senses. Yeah. Uh, do the thing I want to avoid damage. Ooh, it's cringy. I don't want to do that. Yep. Um, so I think we're just gonna heal with swarm, or not heal. We're just gonna clear with swarm. Clear with pirate Deadpool and say it is your go. Sorry for the anger issues on that turn, guys. I completely. <laughs> forgot how whatever works and i'm used to quaking ignoring mastermind and i totally there's exceptions to rules at all times i'm not mad at simeon uh there is no domestic abuse there is no uh violence in our relationship i was just i really thought i had something i, just I mean, really thought i had something going on there. to be fair you still Ugh. almost killed captain america and took out dr strange so yeah it's not yeah, no. nothing yeah it's true he didn't he didn't die in vain he didn't die in vain i shouldn't have anyways see me it's your go <laughs> all right <laughs> i feel um... so bad I feel so bad captain uh. america <laughs> let's see i don't have a way to heal anyone sadly and he lost his leadership so no leadership with captain america my leadership with daredevil doesn't matter but i'm gonna still do it okay a two um, is it worth it to push Daredevil? Kind of, not really. He does get flurry, but he loses charge. Hmm. A quandary. I also lost my outwit, which is probably the bigger loss for good old Captain America there. Let's see. What can these guys see? Six squares... So, a whole lot of nothing from this higher elevation. Yep. Okay. That's fine. Um... So, I need to get Tippy Toe out of there. I need to do several things. Man, oh man. Um, yeah, let's start off by swapping back in cool knife punisher. So his whole thing is blades claws. When I do use it, if it's less than three, I can deal instead one penetrating damage, which 
isn't going to really matter in this situation, but um, we will have nobody do nothing. Tippy toes in 18. Mm. So I don't know how Moon Dragon wants to deal her three or her perplex. Um, because I can't see tippy toe. We will hold off on that. Probably. Yeah, I don't know. Um, let's just perplex nothing. Gosh, I can't think of anything. All right. Uh, we'll attack with good old Frank Castle first. Blades, claws, fangs, and You're ten good. into the eighteen. Need a high number. That is a nine. Sadly, Calder will never see it. All right, tippy toe. Uh, that seems to be the way this game is going. Uh, let's go ahead and roll for. I said to roll ten. I can't really complain too much. Uh, super senses five or six. Tippy is safe. Uh, five. Tippy is safe. Matter. Um. So that's action token for Frank Castle. We will then. Yeah, let's perplex up J Jessica Jones's attack to a 10. Um, we will push her first to try and punch Tippy Toe. Need a uh, good old crit hit to knock him off of Elevated. Just kill him. Ah, a 13. <clears throat> That'll deal Jessica Jones one damage. And... Then I'll have. I don't think Moon Dragon's doing anything. I guess. Oh, I do modify attack and damage values plus one for my arrogant token. Since I have one arrogant token. Oh, on her? Cool. Yeah. So I could have increased her own attack to a 12. Other than that, um, Psychic Blast and Telekinesis aren't really going to help me any. So yeah, we'll. Uh, but if I miss, I lose it. That's fine. Yeah, we'll go for it. 11 into the 18. Need a 7. Okay. That, so that will hit. hit. And then we see if Tibicho is a super sensing boy. Ah. Oh, it seems he is not. And that will Four kill damage. Uh, Tipper Toe. Well... No more of those uh, pheromone tokens, at the very least. Oh, uh, that's true. That was three actions, which is also nice. Yes, three actions to accomplish so little. Uh, am I on... Oh, I put up the wrong one on her. I'm on the red. Okay. Three actions. Let's see. I have two perplexes up here. Let's What is the bee swarm's defense again? A fifteen super sense. Fifteen super senses. That seems silly. Uh I could mind control it. It's I not just the one to... bee. It's a swarm of bees. Oh, it's right. like a a, a bunch of them. A swam. Yeah. So it doesn't swam. say for range I modify attack plus three. It just says uh, when I use mind control. So that would give me an 11 into a 15. What does the B have for attack and damage? I mean, it has a nine attack and one damage on the B. What's its speed? Uh, it's a nine. It's pretty fast. Okay. You can go five squares. Hmm. Won't be able to get to any of these guys. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so I'd be able to possibly attack Deadpool with it. That's if I wanted to right, and deal its damage. No damage. Uh, well, I could. Oh, I yeah, I guess so. I just That's true. That's I true. Yeah, I feel like to do that. Uh, how stupid I wanted to get with that. Um, 
I'm guessing Deadpool doesn't get a ton worse. So let's just put each of their perplexes into their own defenses. And then I'm three okay. actions in. We'll do action four and five in case one of them doesn't hit. So we'll swing with Purple Man first. So he needs a seven because he's right. an eight attack. Ah. Oh, well. Harden B. Let me just remove that. Your your sting. Take him away. Excuse away from my pheromones. Excuse me, sir. Yes, so. Well, I won't need that second action for Captain America then. Uh We are going to push Daredevil, I guess. It wouldn't make sense to make a ninja right now because they're really not doing a whole lot for me. Uh, let's see. Stealth, power action. Uh, da, da, da. Yep. So we'll just push Daredevil to precision strike swarm. He does have shape change this time. Shape change on the swarmy man. All right. Oh, and he misses. I need a five. This is where the crit hit would have been fun. Would have been nice. Right. Maybe I've got and two. And swarm of life right there. Uh, it is a seven. That will hit. And then we get to roll our big six on super senses. Uh, yeah, that's a four. So we will take one four. damage with swarm. I will also. It's sort of its cool bee power, which is just the megaist of bummers. The bees did get a poison. They got some uh, moves in, I guess. Didn't do as much as I wanted them to. I made six whole bees. Foolish I am. All right. So that's four actions, five actions. Uh, action six. Hmm. I don't think Daredevil has. Oh, he does just have ignores hindering, ignores elevate, ignores characters. So he could just charge. I don't know, somewhere. Four squares is what I can move. One, two, three. Yeah, let's charge to here. And we'll attempt to attack mm. Hell Cow. Nine into the 16. All right. Uh, needing uh, a seven, hitting with a ten. There's my doubles. Going down one space on poor, poor Hellcat. And Batrock will. Even if she does nothing, she's still my stuff. MVP. <laughs> Do you already have the cosplay ready? Is that what you're saying? I already have the cosplay ready, is okay. what I am saying. Uh, you know how hard it was to put a cape on one of my cattle? It was increasingly difficult. They are not nice. Ninja is going to clear, and that's all I can do. This it was a turn. lie. And the viewer knows it was a lie. I did not put a cape on the cow. They, they, are, they are not calm animals. Mine aren't calm animals. And you have so many. <laughs> you just can't... Uh, can't cape you them can't all. tame them all. Yeah. All right, so... Deadpool's got no action tokens. I want to choose some cool gamer stuff. Uh, we can do like stealth. We can do precision strike. We can do ESD combat reflexes. I still kind of dig where we're at with him right now uh, because we can kill Purple Man this turn with him. I think we're going to choose a target. I'm like 90% oh. sure. Because I don't think he has multi-target. Yeah, he only has the one. Yeah, so we're going to choose an extra target with Deadpool. Because then he can running shot one, two, three. And he can shoot both. Uh, I guess Cap has ESD now, doesn't he? Which is yes. a little little bit of a bummer. I guess he can shoot uh, Jessica Jones and Purple Man. That's fine. Let's have him do that. He'll copy the 11 of Daredevil.
go here, shooting Jessica Jones and Purplest of Men with our 11 attack is a 17 for three damage. Ah, Jessica Let's Jones see. is Purple going Man. to be copying the 17 from Moon Dragon, just so Moon Dragon right. gets another arrogance token. Yeah. So let's go ahead and deal. Oh, we're going to deal all three to Purple Man's. So Jessica Jones doesn't do anything. Ah, I will mastermind that to Captain America. Okay. Because he does not need to be on the team anymore. Mm -hmm. Alrighty then. So that is one with Deadpool. We got a bunch of stuff going on here. Madcap can just literally sidestep one square, take a swing on Ghost Rider, and get rid of him. So we'll do that. Sidestep one square with Madcap. He will swing on Ghost Rider. 10 to a 16. Needs a 6. I think we can hit a 6. No, we can't. We definitely can't. It's a 4. Uh, he will take a push damage. There's no sense in rolling a d6. He will heal. Not giving him a push token. Does he already have one? Yeah. Maybe give him an action token instead? Yeah, there you go. Okay. Well, that's weird that he has a push and an act. Anyways, uh, they're all they're white for me, listener. Like I don't see any powers. The tokens are just white squares above them for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why my game is this way. It sucks. It's kind of ruining the, the it, whole tabletop scenario. Whoever ever uh, um, gets invited gets that treatment. Just it's just awful. Yeah. Um. So yeah, there's that. So that's one two actions. There's not a ton of actions we can actually do. We do, however, have hypersonic speed of swarm, so we're gonna try to do that right this instance. A one. I don't know why. I don't need to roll two dice. I need to roll one Appreciate dice. Appreciate it though. Yeah. Well, that is a two. Unless you have plasticity, that'll still work. Um, we have nine. One, two, three. Four, five to there, shooting Batrock. How dare you? eight. I've got to be. Hmm, that will hit. It's a I've ten. Here. Will hit. Or two. Oh, yeah, that's right. Hypersonic speed will half the range. Um, well, I have five. I have three. So I can be here. Oh, that's right. Rounded up. Jeez. One, two, three, four, five squares. I'm going to move four squares. I don't have my cool B power anymore instead of precision strike. Deals him two. Um, I can move four more squares after this. Where shall we go? Four squares. Um, one, two. I'm going to go into this hindering. And then we're going to, uh, let's see, outwit something on Daredevil, probably. Outwit his leadership. Good call. Hmm. I'm going to give you an action token. Swarm. Right. That was Power Deadpool. That was Swarm. That was Madcap. And I think that is all we have. So we're going to clear the cow of hell. Not from hell. Hell cow. This is where I wish Answer goes to me. Moon Dragon. I severely wish Moon Dragon had like a move and attack because she's just sitting there. Um. Mm. I don't think there's any reason to swap punishers. There's no reason to roll leadership because you outwitted it. Yeah, I could swap into the energy explosion punisher, but there's no one even close to being within range. Uh, one, two, from here. One, two, three, four, five. I could energy explode hell cow. That would hardly be worth it, but... I would also kill the Punisher doing that. So, instead, what we're going to do... Uh, Purple Man will perplex down Pirate Deadpool's defense. Yes. And then he will attempt to mind control him. So, I'll only have mm -hmm. an 11 into a 17. I will need huh? a 6. Pushing to do so. Ah, nice. Five. I'm very happy with that. We really lucked out there, guys. We really lucked out. Let's see. 
there's not really anything great. One, two, three, four, five. Let's just move this ninja to there. Try and lock the pirate Deadpool down a bit, I guess. Okay. Move him there. Batrock, what do I want to do with you? Hitting Madcap doesn't really do anything for me. Hitting Hellcow would kill Hellcow. I think Swarm's worse, though. So let's... One, two, three, four, five to there. And then, since I have an action token... Oops. Come on, purple this time. I'm going to make an attack for free. Uh, 10 into your 15. Oh, baby, that 15. Well, that's just a mess. Try that again. <laughs> Even though that's a 4 Piled and really good there. for me, that was just such a mess. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. I get Super Sins is on a 6. I don't get it. He takes 1 damage. Let's see. I can sidestep twice, so we'll do that. One, two, and then one more there. Um, Ghost Rider's double actioned. That's only my third action. I feel like I could do something else, but I really can't. Kind of regretting where I put that ninja now. I guess I can go one, two, three. Yeah, we'll move the Punisher here since this version has Indom. Potentially have Mastermind fodder if I need it. And I will just clear Moondragon, Jessica Jones, Daredevil, Ghost Rider. Okie dokie. Maybe. Maybe. I can't. I can't clear. All right. Uh, I think start the turn. Okay. I think to start the turn, we're going to have Swarm out with the... Is it a speed power for Batrock? Is that the... Yeah. We're yeah. going to out with the speed power on Batrock with Swarm. And let's mm. go ahead... Uh, Hmm. Hellcow is definitely going to have to attack What's-His-Face, so let's see what Hellcow can do against Ghost Rider. It is an 8, sadly. Uh, see if we can heal up back to wherever. Nope, that is a 4. Very neat. Very cash money. Deadpool. I kind of would prefer Deadpool running shot breaking away. Does the What's-His-Face guy have whatever? Plasticity. Does the Hand Ninja have plasticity? No. The words I was looking for. Just stealth. All right. Stealth and empower if I'm in here. Yeah, I think I would rather have Deadpool try to run shot break away. Okay, so we can. Where do we want to go? One, two, three, four, five. We can go five to there and just try to shoot Daredevil for three, or we can go one, two, three, four, five, and then get it masterminded back to ourselves. So, yeah, let's go here. I didn't give you a token. I didn't hit, so... Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Uh, we can go there, or he'll kill the Punisher, I guess. Yeah, I'd rather just get rid of Daredevil. He's scarier. Okay. Uh, if he does hit Super Senses, this is Bad News Bears for Deadpool, though. Um, copying the 11 of Daredevil. Uh, that will hit. That'll hit. All right. Regular Super Senses activate. Nice. A three. a three. So that will deal three damage to Daredevil. All right. He does have Mystics, Ooh, yeah. though. A so second action Deadpool token. will take one. Yes. Deadpool will take one. Okay. I'll also attack. I'm going to make sure I give her an action token. Let's have her try to sidestep breakaway. A five. Cool, cool, cool. Sidestep her to there. Uh, we're smart in this. Sidestep her to there. And we're going to sidestep. 
Uh, I'm not going to set that madcap anywhere. He's fine. And clear madcap, and it's your go. Okay. I lost leadership, so... I did get my special precision strike power, which... Oh, we had clear swarm, anything. too. Forgot about that. Uh, it modifies the ninja's attack and possibly damage. Let's see. This map really isn't amazing for Daredevil. Because the ninjas don't have any moving attacks. Realize it's not really amazing for anyone, honestly. No, no, truly kind of is awful. Uh, kind of not see. a great map. I'm going to move. Although it is a non symmetrical map, which is good in general. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it gave you a really good there. starting position, and it hurt me a lot. So I think that's fair. Let's... One, two, three, four. Uh, sure. That kind of makes sense. Let's uh, perplex up Daredevil's attack by one. So he's an 11 with Moondragon. And... Oh, yeah. See, one, two, three, four. No, that's not gonna matter. Okay, he will charge one, two, three, four to here, and attempt to punch swarm. An eleven to the fifteen. Ooh! All right. Ah, gotcha. Almost a crit hit. That will definitely hit. Almost a crit hit. Almost ended swarm's life right there. We need a six. Oh, we got a two. Very close to a six, though. And still in the game. Damn. Swarm, ladies and gentlemen. I was hoping to get rid of his outfits, Warming up a storm, you could say. Batrock could do something. Um, no. Yeah, he has the outwit the whole time one, two, on the back three. half. Shape change first half, outwit back half. Let's just get rid of Hellcow with Ghost Rider. He'll charge to here. Yeah, that's fair. If he can try, if he can try, yeah, you will try. It's true. He's been oddly tough to kill this whole game, which is strange. Only hitting him once with that 60 defense, really being too true. Uh, he needs a six to hit. Yeah, probably going to. Wow, there's a 10 that will get rid of the hell cow. Let's see, one, two, three. Uh, I don't like... We're going to leap climb Jessica Jones down to here. I don't particularly like... Uh, oh, he's not going to do anything next turn anyhow. Never mind. Oh, well. We will clear everyone else. So clear Batrock. Clear Hand Ninja. Mr. Purple. And Punisher. Okay. <laughs> okay all right this is a tricky sticky situation we are in don't have a lot to go on don't have a lot to do um hellcat was there so he has to be in the square so we'll sidestep madcap to here we'll punch daredevil mm. ghost rider goodness gracious <laughs> uh, 10 to a 16 see what damage we can cause Ah, that will miss. Yes. Like I said, this Daredevil, Ghost Rider. Yeah, Ghost, Rider. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Ghost Rider Daredevil. He's on a bike. He's like a for... Daredevil-esque person. Anyways, yeah, uh, that'll 16, miss very much in character for Madcap. We'll try to break away Hypersonic with Swarm. This is where we roll the one, and our turn falls apart. That is a six. Would have been nice for a Super Senses roll, but here we are. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we're going to go seven here. Yeah. Eight, seven. Hmm. Well, seven going with two squares afterwards, anyways. So it's never a great spot. Um, let's go there. We can just go here. And we're going to shoot uh, Batrock. Hmm. 
You will need a seven. See if we can get rid of him. Uh, uh, Calder, do it. Three and a four. He, there it is. It's the magic beat. magic number. One, two. For another two whole damage. Batrock is still alive. Wow. Although he's lost his free attack ability. Sad. And his Which is okay. Uh, we have two squares to move. Go there. Batrock have. He has normal sidestep now. Yeah. yeah. I think we end it two squares here. Then we outwit his sidestep. It's fine. Okay. That's fine. Daredevil, one, two, three, four. Daredevil can't charge us, so that's also fine. I guess he would I or take a push anyways. Um, Madcap, you. Oh, I only have three characters, so Deadpool just has to clear. Boop, boop. All right, yeah. It is your go. All right. Uh, Purple Man can now see Madcap, I believe. One, two, three. Let's see, direct diagonals that way. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Just barely able to see Madcap. And if I move the Hand Ninja up next to him, he's got uh, the Hydra Team ability. Hmm. This is all coming together. Uh, yeah, we will eventually get to that. Let's first go ahead and push Moon Dragon. So she mm. currently has two arrogant tokens on her card. So I'll modify attack and damage values plus one or plus two for one for each arrogant token. So I I am currently a twelve for five. Let's Oh baby. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, trying to see if Hydra Team ability would be better there. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We'll move Hand Ninja to here. So that's action one, moving Hand Ninja. Um... She wants to make sure she hits so she doesn't lose her Thrall tokens, or not Thrall tokens, uh, Arrogance tokens. So she'll perplex her attack up to a 13. So with the Hydra Team ability, uh, we are going to drop mm -hmm. negative one on Deadpool. Deadpool's defense down to a 17. I right. will need a four with Psychic Blast. Per a ton, and I mean, ladies and gentlemen, a ton of damage. Crit that's where he finally was crit miss. Uh, no, nope, that's a five. That'll do it for five. One, two, three, four, five. That'll deal her a damage. She does go down in damage to a two now. Um, got an eight attack with Jessica Jones. Yeah. She she doesn't do a whole lot. Let's uh try and punch Deadpool with De Jessica Jones. She needs All right. an eight, but a crit hit would be even cooler. Be insane right now. It would be stellar. Ah, uh, oh, so. one. I should have perplexed your defense down. I wasn't thinking hmm. that'll deal her damage. Ah, she now has sidestep. Great. Mm. Good stuff. Um, one, two, three, four. I can actually see Swarm and Madcap with Purple Man. So we will go. Oop. Apparently, if you just throw the action tokens and it hits the character's base, it goes on them immediately. It'll go it on. Ah, yeah. it's interesting. That's how I put one on uh, Chipmunk Hunk earlier. But yeah, if you just like toss oh, it. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, so, yeah, we'll have Purple Man. He will perplex down Madcap's de defense, I guess. Um, yes, yes, yes. So he will be an 11 into a 16 and a 15. Going after Swarm and... Let me double check that he has two lightning bolts. Mr. Sure Cap. 
Yeah, two lightning bolts, six range. Yeah. Okay. What a guy. Yeah. No Double hit. hits. All of you swarm super senses. Can we roll that five or six? Now nah, that was a set down. There uh -huh. we go. That is a four. Bummer. Okay. But we gotta. That's the way it is. It's the way um, it be. Let it be. We'll have that's the way it be. Anyways. Swarm. Jeez. <laughs> uh, we'll have swarm attempt to punch <laughs> Deadpool. Ah, uh, this is bad. This is bad. It needs a seven. It's not great, but it's still. Uh, it looks cocked. No, nah, that's not good. <laughs> Reroll it. Reroll the whole thing. <laughs> it's probably it for Deadpool, though. Uh, yeah, that's it for Deadpool. All right. He will then move. Let's see. Here. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Um. Madcap isn't going to really be able to do anything. He doesn't have any range. He'll so be he'll able to kill your entire team. One, two, three, four, <laughs> I suppose. That'll be fine. Okay. And, yeah, that's it for the mind control. Uh, Batrock, though, will now attempt to punch Swarm, who okay. unjustly outwitted his... Here we go. Sidestep. Uh, Sixteen. All right. Uh, swarm six. Yeah. I don't have precision. You're always a disappointment. Anymore, swarm. Oh, you don't. Uh, well, it still failed. Yeah. Uh, let's see. That is one, two. Uh, three, sadly, four. Madcap is doing the best. He is still alive. I will have to cosplay this abomination. <laughs> Here we are last action that i can do this turn would be to push daredevil only question is can simeon effectively deal enough damage to madcap to kill him probably not because daredevil would real... only be able to do one so he's not doing anything there's so many figures on your team i'm just like there's so many figures on your team dude we yeah. can't we gotta have a figure cap of like six characters from now on <laughs> forever because this is way too much hey it gives them a good idea of what's in the set uh we'll clear Ninja and I guess so. clear Daredevil. I haven't made a Seagull Ninja. I thought like it would be good, but they don't have any movement, so also this map isn't great for creating stuff. Alright, Madcap, what you what you got? Wow. Well, handy dandy, what do you know? He's really only got the one move, which is try to hit a 17, which has it worked so far? Eh, not really. But it's what we can do, ladies and gents. Miss you, say. Um, yes, we'll go this way. But it doesn't really matter. Blah. Mm. Hey, there's our 17 that we needed to hit. Cool. One will Let's do give it. him a push token. And then let's roll a d6 to heal him, all that stuff. Now it is. All right. Oh, uh, let's see. I guess I can just not really do anything. Uh... I will power action Daredevil to oh my gosh. Make oh my engine. gosh. Oh my gosh. You need more figures on your team. <laughs> you think to yourself, yes. here we are. Calder's got the one guy. And he says, <laughs> you know what I need? Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I need more figures on my team. You know how many figures? I have seven figures still alive. And I need one more. That's how many figures I need on my team to deal with one person. Simeon Bruce, you're a disappointment. I will move. But you didn't need me to tell you that. I will move him there. Everyone else on my team clears. I hate you. Thank you. Oh, poor, poor Mr. Cap. People sidestep two squares to here. And he will clear. 
And it is your turn. All right. I suppose... He supposes. I will move Purple Man to here. He assumes. I will perplex Moon Dragon's damage up twice and attempt to psych... Well, no, I can't do that. She's already at plus two. I'll perplex her attack and damage up by one. So she is a 14 for five. Mm -hmm. And Mm -hmm. you are a 16 thanks to the Hydra team ability. Yes. I will attempt to psychic blast you. And he crit misses with her uh, laugh to death. Ah. That will hit. Surprisingly, that will hit. A four will hit. One, two, three, four, five. Blah! Another epic Golden Age Brawl has come to a close. Reminder, you can vote for what figures we use on our teams on Facebook, Twitter, Discord, and in the comment section of this video. Next week, I'm going to build from Elseworlds, and Simeon will build from What If. That nicely lined up. Very proud of that. So that's cool. Yeah. Elseworlds had all the cool cowboy figures. So the Just League, the Kid Flash, um, the Wonder Woman, and the Martian Manhunter. And Probably be my top arrow. picks. Uh, n- no, not in the Wild Wild West. Oh, I thought he had a bow and arrow because he was in the Wild West. I mean, he did, but like he just does it because he's lame and hasn't moved on at the times. So he doesn't realize that a bow and arrow is outdated. Sorry, not outdated. Timeless as <laughs> whatever Crimson Quiver or whatever the hell that guy's name was would say. I don't remember. Anyways, Simeon, any picks from What If? Uh, from What If, man. There's so many I can remember. Uh, Goblin King. Um, nah, you said it. Goblin nah. King. Please don't uh, vote for Goblin King. This is where I have to plead with people. <laughs> he was played in 300 Modern enough. I had to play against him enough. Do not vote for Goblin King. Um, I will I will track you down to your house. I have several of your addresses. Uh, I will beat you to death if you what vote if it was for Goblin King. Or actually, at the very least, uh, break your knees. <laughs> it was the set that we saw the return of the Runaways. So the Runaways is like a good there you go. list of figures to go with. That's much better. Um, I don't care for the Advocate, but the Inbetweener is interesting. I mean, the Advocate is kind of I do like the Inbetweener. Uh, Inbetweener's got a cool sculpt. Yes. He's a cool dude. Uh, the chases are venomized characters, so there's Venom Hulk, Venom Thor. They're all kind of okay. Uh, Venom Punisher. Yeah, not great. The last one. Uh, kind of weird looking. Yeah. Yeah. All right, ladies and gents, we are officially two games in. We are one win, one win on each side. So it's it's a neck and neck race in the new carded age. Blah. Thank you guys so much. As always, if you want to support us on Patreon, it really helps these videos out and the podcast out. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, like, and comment. Hit the bell notification. You'll be notified when a new video comes up. And as always, happy trails. Oh, geez, he highlighted everything. (laughs) Tipped over the bystander tokens. Oh, no. I like how they don't fly. Either they just get stuck like jelly 